So, I had an infatuation with the scale. I don't know why, but I love playing scales in thirds. Like, whenever I learned the scale, I had to play... I had to play it that way, or a minor scale. Just because it was a good exercise and I just liked doing it. But there was this one scale. This one scale. The whole tone scale. And I could not get that scale in thirds. I understood how to play it. It's just really a, a whole step scale. You can play that scale across the one string. You can play that whole entire scale because it's just whole steps. But we're playing three notes per string. But the weird thing about this scale is that you're playing it diagonally. So first string, move up one string, up one fret, one string, one fret. So to play this scale in thirds, it's not going to be as nice. It's not going to be as nicely positioned <laughs> as the major scale. So you're going to be doing some weird fingering, right? So. So it was so hard to get that in the beginning, but I noticed and I realized that helped me play so many other things. Now this specific scale didn't really allow me to play this specifically in any type of music. I'm trying to think if I have. Really haven't played that one whole tone scale that way, um, but there's other elements that it allowed me to be able to play that thirds. If I can play it, it allowed me to play those thirds a little bit easier. Even if I can play a, a diminished scale. Uh, uh, so to be able to play things like that, I had to go through that. I had to go through the whole tone scale <laughs> to get those diagonal weird positions out. So. In this case, I'll, I'll show you guys the fingering for it. So it'll be one, three, four, shift down. This is just the scale now. One, three, four, simple, right? Shift, one fret, one string, one, three, four. Now to do the thirds, I have one, four, two, one, four, three, one, four, two, one, four, three, one, four. So as far as the fingering goes, I'm playing based on where I left off. So in this case, going back down, if my next note is the next fret above, I'm using my next finger to play that next note. You get it? See what I mean? The, the finger that's closest, I'm gonna play that. See what I mean? Anyway, I don't wanna spend too much time on that, but that was the hardship of being able to play lines like that, of being able to stretch my hand out and really challenge myself because I like the way the thirds sound in the scale because it sounds like you're not playing the scale. Just, you know how when somebody just plays the scale up and down and you hear and you know that that's just the scale? I didn't want to sound like I was only playing the scale all the time. So that was one of the first elements and that was one of the first things I included to do and use as far as improvisation to mix up my playing to get outside of the box, if you will, right? <laughs> and that was just, it was just thirds. It sounded, when I'm looking back and I'm thinking back on it, it sounds kind of funny, but that was my introduction into going outside of the box. It, it just allowed me to open up my mind a little bit more. I just wanted to show you guys that one specific exercise because it helps a lot. You may not use that musically or melodically inside of music, but sometimes I do use that. <laughs> There it is right there. That same exact formation inside of a melodic minor idea. You get the idea, right? So I'm using that same model, right? Playing that allowed me to play something like this. 
You know, using that melodic minor scale and playing it in thirds the way that I like to play it, uh, just it, it allowed me to do so many other things when I went to go improvise or play different lines, different bass lines, different lick lines, and whatever. You, anyway, I don't want to make this too long, but if you have any questions, feel free. Do not hesitate to ask your questions down below or on the side, depending on how you're watching this uh, lesson. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise at all times. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.